Hey guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, we're going to see something about the service task. Okay, we are going to have an outflow in which we are going to have uh, a service task to check the weather. Okay, so based on the weather, if it is good, then we are going to move the flow to a shopping task. So if the weather is bad, then we are going to move the flow to a play indoor games task. So, and then termination. So inside the service task, we are going to use Groovy script to pass a response. Okay, so here I have developed a simple API to get the weather okay it's a dummy API so this is the API so here I have hardcoded the value as bad the weather is bad so if I go and test it in the postman tool so I'll be getting the value like weather is bad okay I can change the value here if I want to make it as good I'm changing it as good and I'm restarting it It is started. If I go and check the postman, now the response should be good. Okay, it is good. Okay, let's get into the workflow. So here we're having start event and weather check and then a gateway. So based on the response from this task, so it will be moved to play indoor games or shopping. So if you look, this is this is a normal task. So here, like this, like normal tasks, if I click on this icon, I'll be getting the service task okay that's how I've done it so in this task what you have to do is like we need to do uh, we need to choose this connector in this implementation drop down and then we need to go to the connector section here we need to give connector ID as HTTP connector and then we are having input parameters and output parameters so inside the input parameters we need to give the URL and the method so URL is nothing but like it is a URA okay so in the postman tool we have tried something right so this is the URA I have given it here okay so and then the method is get like here i have given it as a get right so that is that is a method so i have given it as get okay i have I've created two variables as input parameters one is url and method so in url i have given the uri and in the method i have given the method so and we are having output parameters inside so the purpose of output parameters is like we need one variable right so to store the response value so that is it so i have a variable called weather so from this API, I'll be getting a response like bad or good. So I need to store it in here. So to pass it, it is, since it is a JSON, we need to pass it, right? So for that, I'm using Groovy script. So this is how the Groovy script look like. So this is the Groovy script. So here I'm taking the value of the weather. So in this task, this API will get invoked and we'll get a response. If it is good, it'll go to shopping. If it is bad, it'll go to play indoor games. That's how it's going to work, okay? Let's save and deploy. Now I'm going to the cockpit. Okay, this is our process. So we're having a start weather check. So from the weather check, we'll get a value in, as a response. So based on the response, it'll be routed to play indoor games or shopping through the uh, exclusive gateway. Let me initiate a task through the task list. Okay, start event. I'm going to initiate a process. One, two, three. So I click on the start. So the process has been started. So if I go and check the postman, what we got, like we got a good response, right? So in this case, that task should be uh, available in shopping list. Okay, let's go and check it here. So we got one in shopping, right? So if I claim and load the variable, it is good. Let me go and check the cockpit. We're having one in shopping, correct? Now let's, let me execute one with a bad response. For that, I need to change the value here in the API. So I'm making it as bad. Saved it. And I'm executing it again. So 
started. If I check the API in the postman, it should be bad. Okay, we got a bad response. And I'm going to initiate a new one here. Start process, process weather, one, two, three. So, and then I'm executing it, starting it. So, a new process has been started. Now, this task should be available in Indo Games queue. Okay, so Indo Games, uh, one task got created. If we go check the cockpit, it should be two in the play Indo Games, right? We got two in the play Indo Games. Okay, so when we use the service task, there won't be any human intervention. It is purely based on the API response. Okay, if we get some response, then uh, this gateway will route it based on the value which we got in the response. So in in this case, we got a response from the API like uh, one time we got a good response. So uh, that task flow to uh, shopping and then we got a bad response. So then that particular task got moved to the indoor games. Okay, that's how it is working. Thanks for watching.